Stepping off the ship into a new port is exciting, but I'm here to warn you that there are scammers just waiting to steal from you or scare you out of your money. For example, beware of the fake Uber drivers in the Miami cruise port who hold up a sign and pretend that they're real Uber drivers so that they can overcharge you or insist that you pay them in cash or They'll tell you if you don't use them, you'll have a long time to wait for another driver. We've all been targeted in various cruise parts around the world. And today I'm providing you with our real examples of our own experiences, along with some tips to help prevent you from falling victim to some of these scams on your next cruise. Hi there, it's Tori from the Kirk Tori Story. We've been to over 90 cruise ports around the world and wanted to share with you some of the real examples of how we were potential targets for cruise port scams. It's important to note that there are scammers out there who literally take pleasure in targeting unsuspecting cruise passengers each and every day. As a tourist, you would likely be excited to interact with locals or to learn about a culture or try out new things and not think that you're going to be targeted for a scam. So let's take a minute and look at some of these potential scams. Number one, a scammer wants to take your picture for you. Of course, everyone wants to have pictures of themselves on vacation, so the camera scam actually has two very popular ways of being done. The first one is that they offer by a seemingly nice person who offers to take your picture. So we were minding our own business in Puerto Rico in the Castillo San Cristobal Fort, standing upon a staircase when two local guys came up to us commenting on how beautiful we look as a couple and that they could take our picture for us using our camera phone. So this is a common scam. If we had handed them our phone, they could have refused to return it unless we paid them. Like many people, we use our phones as our cameras. So could you imagine if someone handed those guys a camera phone that has all of their information on it? You could potentially lose all of your ID, have your bank accounts drained, all of your pictures lost, and more. Now, this kind of scam can happen anywhere, and it could happen very fast. And really, I feel it could feel innocent in the moment, but it's a brutal one that you really can't afford not to know. The second camera scam is where the scammer wants their picture taken using their camera. So this again happened to us in uh, Fangshal, Portugal. So this really nice man came up to me and asked if I could take his phone from him and take a picture of him. So there are a couple of things that could have happened in this scenario. So how this scam works is that I would get distracted and the scammer's accomplice may steal my bag, my wallet, or my belongings while I would be focusing on taking the scammer's picture. Alternatively, the scammer could have also accused me of damaging their camera or their phone and demand money for so-called repairs. So how do you avoid these kinds of scams? Number one, politely decline offers of anyone taking your picture or asking if you want to take, if you will take their picture. If this is done unsolicited, just say no. Uh, number two, be aware of your surroundings. Keep an eye on your belongings if you choose to interact with strangers. Number three, bring your own selfie stick to take your own picture. And number four, ask fellow tourists that maybe you see from your own cruise ship to take a picture for you. At least you know where to find them and it's pretty unlikely that they are out to scam you too. By the way, please be sure to stay until the end of the video where I will list important ways for you to protect yourself from being scammed. Number two, the free gifts. This one happens to us in many ports worldwide from the Caribbean, Mexico, South America to Africa. 
beware as this one is sneaky. We've been offered free bracelets, necklaces, trinkets, books, literally all kinds of things as a friendly gesture. But as soon as you accept, these people start demanding payment or start guilt tripping you into buying something else. So in too many countries that I can count, we have all had all kinds of people approach us, complimenting us, suggesting that they have something beautiful or lucky for us, and they try to put it on you, or they try to hand it to you so that instinctively you would take it in your hand. So beware of people handing you things or getting too close to you. So how it works is that the scammer relies on the awkwardness of the situation to pressure you into paying for something that is now in your hand or around your neck or whatever. And they can get really aggressive if you don't pay or even accuse you of breaking the free gift that they gave you. So you need to be firm in declining anything, especially if it is free or something that they want you to touch to examine the value. It could be extremely awkward to get out of this one. So the best idea is just to avoid eye contact. Don't engage in conversation with these people and don't allow anyone to get close enough to put anything on you. So have you experienced any of these kind of scams so far? We all have many stories, I'm sure, but uh, I have lots more where we've been targeted for scams. But before I continue, can I please ask if you subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already done so, we really try to share our experiences and advice with you about traveling the world. So thank you so much for your support. And number three, the price switch. This scam begins with a local scammer offering to show you hidden gems or take you to places off the beaten path for a more authentic experience of the cruise port that you're in. So in my example today, this case involves meeting a very friendly and approachable guy who offered to take us to a great deal to go on an exclusive beach with snorkeling. So how the scam works is that you agree on a price for this amazing experience and that at the end of the day, when it's time to go back, all of a sudden your driver is gone and a new one comes who is completely unaware of the special negotiated terms that you had already paid for. And now the new driver demands payment to drive you back, which is an hour away. This kind of scam happens all over the world and could cost you a lot of money and even your safety. So there have been some really extreme cases where tourists are taken to unsafe locations and coerced into handing over valuables or cash or even left stranded and at risk of missing their ship's departure. I personally think that this is a really very dangerous one and that if you're going to do this kind of trip that you need to insist on pain in the end or just avoid this too good to be true excursion or experience altogether. And number four, the broken meter taxi. This scam preys on travelers unfamiliar with local taxi practices and the driver tells you that their meter is broken and insists on a flat rate and usually way higher than what you would normally pay. So this happened to us in Lima where a driver was trying to take advantage of us because he thought we had no idea of the usual fare. So you would avoid risking over pain by researching the going rate for taxis in your destination. And if the meter is broken, insist on negotiating an amount up front, or even better, just find another taxi. And number five, I'm sure everybody knows the old lady and the baby scam. It seems like every time we go to Europe, we see an older woman who appears what that she has like a baby, but it's usually a doll that's just wrapped into a blanket. She begs for money to feed her baby or she'll beg for your help or try to force you to catch the baby or ask you to hold it. So if you're a tourist um, in a touristy area, you're bound to see her and you may even see her accomplice trying to steal the person's phone, their wallet or valuables like your passport. 
So for this tip, I just remind you to do your best to keep your belongings secure and hidden from pickpockets and also to trust your instincts by walking away or declining any form of interaction from these kind of unusual people. Overall, scammers exploit the trust and curiosity of tourists, so staying alert and cautious is vital. Trust your instincts, and if something feels off, it's better to decline and say, stay safe. So here's a few ways that you can protect yourself. Number one, stick to crowded, well-known areas and avoid venturing off into unfamiliar parts of the city with somebody that you don't know. Number two, Book tours through trusted channels or use the cruise line or verified operators for excursions. Number three, stay in public spaces. Avoid going into buildings or cars or areas that seem secluded. Number four, have an emergency contact information. Just know how to reach that cruise line that you're on and local authorities. Number five, do your homework. Research common scams in the destination before you arrive. Number six, Stay polite, but firm. Don't feel pressured into anything that you're not comfortable with. And number seven, trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Number eight, stick to the ship's advice. Many cruise line provide port tips and warnings in their cruise newsletter. So there you have it, the top five scams to watch out for in cruise ports. By staying informed and cautious, you can enjoy your cruise without falling victim to these scams. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And please share your own experiences in the comments below. So safe travels and we'll see you in the next video.